Steve Burton, Director of Stranding and Population Assessment at Harbor Branch Oceanographic Institute. Still one of the longest names I have ever written off there, Steve. <laughs> hey, good morning, Bob. How you doing? <laughs> Pretty good. That must be one long business card. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> Man. <laughs> well, 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 part of your title is Director of Stranding. And uh, yep. there, were, there were a couple of things that happened uh, recently that you were involved in. Yeah, so as your listeners may be aware or may not be aware of, you know, the FAU Stranding and Population Assessment Team uh, responds to dolphins and whales in Indian River County, uh, St. Lucie County, and Martin County. Um, but we also go out of our area to help our other stranding groups throughout Florida. So I think the last time I spoke to you was at the beginning of May, and a few days afterwards, um, we were approved by National Marine Fisheries that um, regulates all of the things with uh, dolphins and whales to uh, rescue a dolphin up in New Smyrna. So um, that animal was stuck back in uh, Spruce Creek area and um, was a young animal, but uh, couldn't seem to find its way out. Um, so after a few weeks of watching it, National Marine Fisheries approved a uh, multi-agency um, capture of that animal and to relocate it out of that area into back into the saltwater area um, instead of in the freshwater area where it was. And that's really cool because, you know, Harbor Branch gets to work with our straining partners, um, you know, for example, Hub SeaWorld Research Institute, NOAA, um, SeaWorld Orlando was part of this rescue, um, members of University of Florida, and members of Volusia County. So um, it's a really good team effort and uh, with experienced uh, staff and volunteers um, and making sure the animal is safely collected and then transported back out of that area so it could go have a nice, happy dolphin life. Um, so that was at the beginning of May, right after I spoke to you last. Um, recently, though, um, some paddle boarders were um, over in Round Island State Park here in Vero uh, having a great time, and they went around the creek, and uh, uh, we had a tidal uh, stranded dolphin. Um, that means the animal got stuck back into an area of um, Round Island and was only in about six inches of water. So the dolphin ended up being a female. Uh, we, her name is Summer, um, and we, our team was called in. Uh, the public called the FWC hotline, and uh, we motored over there by land and also took a boat and our equipment, assessed the animal, our marine mammal veterinarian, diagnosed the animal and it was deemed that yes it was tidal stranded and we can release it back into the wild so we actually put the dolphin in a stretcher and uh walked her <laughs> quite a distance down the creek into the deeper water and then released her um we did put a roto tag in her fin it's green so if anybody sees it out there we put that on there to track her it's just a plastic clip and over time it will come out um but as I mentioned in previous talks on the show, we um, identify the dolphins by their dorsal fin, and um, Summer has not a distinct fin, so we wanted to make sure we could check up on her, so we put that tag in her. Um, and then the next day, our photo ID team spotted Summer just north of 17th Street Bridge, uh, out in the um, ICW with three other adult dolphins, just doing what dolphins do, feeding and playing and swimming. So that was really... Uh, Really good news for us, um, but sadly um, uh, for us, we got a call on Monday um, from uh, folks in Indian River Shores area that there was a mama dolphin pushing a dead baby dolphin, and unfortunately that was Summer, the mom, which is Summer with the tag. They said, oh, there's a green home mama dolphin pushing a baby dolphin. So unfortunately, somehow... Um, summer gave birth to a stillborn, so um, that's the sad part of it, um, but the mom's out there, and part of our protocols with dolphins when they're pushing their dead young um, is we just let the dolphin mourn, let it push it around, um, so we keep getting calls on it, we keep checking on Summer and her calf, and at some point, um, Summer will just abandon the carcass, and we hope to collect it and take the uh, dead calf back to Harbor Branch and see what happens, see if 
if it was, uh, you know, stillborn or died after birth, all that stuff. So not a happy ending on that one, but we did get summer out of the shallow areas there. So that's the latest on the dolphin news for us. Um, Jeez, that, uh, that, the thing about summer, that's so horrible. But what, what, how, just the fact that that was her, uh, and that was her baby, and, and you guys had just rescued her, that, that's, uh, how often does that happen? Yeah, it's very rare, but again, it's also out there that, you know, the public will call in, a mom dolphin's pushing a dead baby dolphin. So, you know, when they do go into labor, sometimes these dolphins, Dolphin calves don't make it, and then again, the policy is to select the mother mourn uh, with its calf and then uh, pick up the calf afterwards, hopefully, and do a necropsy on the calf and find out what happened, you know? Yeah. You know? And it, so we were we were open to save, too, uh, with Summer, you know, with uh, knowing that she was possibly pregnant, um, but unfortunately, um, the calf didn't make it. So... <laughs> Hopefully, Summer has another baby in the future, and then that will be good news there, too. So we've got the 4th of July coming up, and I know you had some concerns about that, too. Yeah, you know, always with holidays, everybody's out on the water having a great time, and that's awesome. We've got July 4th uh, weekend and holiday up here. So I just want to remind the public, you know, enjoy the outdoors, enjoy the, enjoy the Indian River Lagoon. If you see dolphins out there, um, you know, stay 50 yards away, give them their space, enjoy them from afar. Um, you know, respect the manatee zones, watch out for the manatees as well. And if you're out there having a great weekend and you think you see a dolphin or a manatee in distress, please call the FWC hotline at 888-404-404. 3922, and that's manned by an operator for FWC 24-7, and they will get the right stranding group to that animal. So that's the key there, 888-404-3922. And that way, uh, the animals have a great July 4th as well. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Steve, we well, appreciate you being on the show, and I uh, look forward to talking about another month or so.